So here's the thing. I normally don't do sequel videos like this, at least not directly after the original, but I'll make this a special case. Consider this more an addendum than a sequel because in the comments of my last video, The History of Sonic Character Themes, people point out that I, well, missed a few character themes. I know, I know, I broke the 11th commandment, but hey, I'm going to hell for a number of reasons already. What's one more mortal sin? But while I'm still here, I might as well talk about Sonic a bit more. So let's drag these last few songs kicking and screaming into the limelight, along with one song that quite a few people said I should reconsider. First up, commenter Gaming Street suggested I talk about Knuckles' themes from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Yeah, he's got two. Actually, all the songs I bring up here I considered for the original video, but cut for one reason or another. I cut both of Knuckles' themes because there's no lyrics, and I felt that that would mean there's less to talk about, and there certainly is when it comes to a Sonic 3 theme. It's just a pretty boring loop over a drum beat. Honestly, it's just so bland, like a cracker. But then you have a theme from Sonic and Knuckles, which is like, way fucking better. Firstly, that decrescendo at the start of the song, yeah, I just pulled out the big word, is perfect for a moment of Knuckles' introduction. The song itself is a nice beat, and something I didn't talk about too much in the last video, I like that Genesis instrumentation. I know it's all just code meant to simulate actual music, but they did a good job in making it sound like it's being played on a steel drum. That ties in well with Angel Island's tropical theme, which fits for Knuckles. Even post Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the kidnaps have always been tied in with Central and South America, so even in hindsight, the tropical theme works well. Oh yeah, and I'm not grading them in this video. Sorry folks, I got Flash games to play for my next video, I can't spend too much time doing this. Alright, so this next one is just a fuck up on my part. Commenter Purcell Worthman gave a big recommendation to Gamma's theme from Sonic Adventure. I'm just gonna take the L here guys, I was not kidding or hyperbolizing when I said I didn't think Gamma had a theme in Sonic Adventure. I've played a lot of Sonic Adventure, it's one of my favorite Sonic games, so I really don't have an excuse for this. Though I can understand why Gamma's theme is overlooked so often, as it really is an outlier in terms of Sonic themes. It wasn't released officially in the game's soundtrack, it doesn't have lyrics, it doesn't even have a title. Hell, the Sonic Wiki doesn't even have it listed under Sonic Adventure character themes. If we can't trust the Sonic Wiki, then can we really trust anything? But it's still a character theme, so let's discuss, shall we? The song, as I said, has no lyrics, aside from a few heavily roboticized words that are pretty hard to make out. Honestly, this is probably for the best, as the lack of lyrics really shows off the song's biggest strength, its melancholic melody. See, Gamma's story in Sonic Adventure is a pretty bittersweet one, to the point that there's multiple memes talking about how out of place and strangely hard-hitting it is. The song itself is very somber, with only a hint of positivity here and there. The negative tone of the song fits perfectly well with Gamma, a confused robot who comes to realize that Eggman's a bastard and the only way to save his brothers from a lifetime of servitude to him is to destroy them, and eventually, himself. It's a pretty dark concept for a kid's game, but something that this little tune fits right alongside with. Before we move on to our final theme, I had a few people ask that I reconsider Big's theme a bit. No. Look, I get Big may have been a fun character outside of the games, but the only non-canon Sonic stuff I've read is IDW. And I watched Sonic X, but that was years ago. My point is that I was focusing mainly on the canon versions of these characters, not the version that better writers have made. The only genuine comment that I got that made me pause for a bit about Lazy Days is from commenter James Kowenko, who brought up a good point, that being that Big's theme is specifically Southern Rock. Now, don't let this cowboy hat fool you. That's a cowboy hat? Well, it sure shit isn't a fedora, that's for sure. But anyways, my point is that I'm not from the South. I'm from New Jersey, dammit. I'm not really experienced in Southern Rock, so this really went way over my head. But yes, I do agree that the use of a Southern genre of music, a part of the country mostly known for being more relaxed, for Big the Cat is fitting since his blinding stupidity does make him pretty chill, to be fair. I'm not changing my stance on Big as a character, but I'll say his song deserves a tad bit more credit than I gave it. Not enough to change its grade, though. And finally, the request which confused me the most, commenter Davi Susani suggested that I talk about what I'm made of, as Metal Sonic's theme. So another peek behind the scenes here, I was originally planning on talking about this song, but that was way back in the earliest idea for this video. See, I wanted to do a video comparing specifically the music of the Adventure Trilogy, that being Adventure 1, 2, and Heroes. But then the vacations came around, I had to change the video to make sure it actually came out for August, and we got what we got. Now, look, I listen to this song a lot, not just because it rocks, but also because I've beaten Sonic Heroes quite a few times. 
it is my favorite game in the series after all. All that time, I saw it mostly in the same vein as Open Your Heart and Live and Learn, where they may be sung from the perspective of a character, but it's not really about that character as a whole, more so the situation around them. I'd say that's the same with what I'm made of, as it specifically is about the Metal Overlord boss fight as well as the events of Sonic Heroes. While it is sung from Super Sonic's perspective, it's not about any character in particular. Look, I know I'm kind of shafting this song, I do want to talk about it, but I'd rather save that for the inevitable Sonic Heroes video. But that is going to have to wait until I reach some big milestone, maybe a thousand or five thousand subs or something around there, because if I'm going to talk about this game, I want to make it a special occasion. Speaking of milestones, I know this is going to sound pretty lame, but the past few videos have really exploded for me, relatively speaking, and even crossed 100 subscribers. I know, compared to most people, that's not much, but hey, I'm still grateful that anyone at all is watching these videos. It's just kind of wild to see a K in the view count. Over a thousand people have watched both my last videos, and it just really makes me feel good to know that people actually are watching what I watch. It's kind of helpful here. If you noticed, I just stopped reading from the script to just sort of talk a bit more. Uh, I don't know if my next video is going to do as good. I hope it does. But, uh, yeah. Thanks a bunch, everyone. So, yeah, that's the video, I guess. If nothing else, this proves that your comments can, in fact, influence what I'm going to do next. So comment away, everyone. It very well may become my next video. Or maybe not. Or maybe it'll take me a couple months. Who knows? But either way, I'm Sir Strongman, and that was the thing.